Imagine waking up one day to find out that a company best known for making your video games look awesome just became the most valuable business on the entire planet. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, on June 18th, 2024, that's exactly what happened when NVIDIA hit a mind-blowing market value of $3.34 trillion. They didn't just edge past the competition. They leapfrogged over tech giants like Microsoft, Apple, Samsung, and Alphabet. How on earth did a GPU maker pull off such an insane feat? NVIDIA's journey kicked off in 1993, which might surprise you given how dominant they've become. The company was founded by Jensen Huang, who's still steering the ship as CEO today, along with two other partners. But here's where it gets interesting. Wanna guess where the idea for NVIDIA was first cooked up? The plan for NVIDIA was hatched over pancakes and coffee at a Denny's diner. That's right, the same place where Jensen used to work as a waiter's assistant when he was younger. Jensen's path to founding NVIDIA is pretty inspiring. He fell head over heels for computer science and eventually landed his dream job at AMD, one of the big dogs in tech at the time. But Jensen had a bigger vision brewing. He saw something holding PCs back from reaching their full potential, and he was itching to change that. So he rounded up two other tech enthusiasts, booked a table at good old Denny's, and boom, NVIDIA was born. There's even a plaque on the wall of that Denny's now, marking the spot where tech history was made. NVIDIA essentially means next version envy, implying that their next chip would make everyone green with jealousy. And now you know why their logo is a green eye. It's not just a cool design, it's a nod to their mythological namesake. Pretty clever, right? But let's be real, clever branding alone doesn't make you the most valuable company in the world. So what was NVIDIA's big breakthrough? What turned them from a scrappy startup dreamed up in a diner to a tech juggernaut? The year was 1999, and NVIDIA dropped a bombshell on the tech world, the GeForce 256, marketed as the world's first graphics processing unit, or GPU. This wasn't just another piece of computer hardware. It was a revolution in silicon form. But what made it so special? While CPUs could only process one calculation at a time, GPUs could handle multiple tasks simultaneously through parallel processing. For graphics rendering in games, this was a game changer. The GPU could take those big, complex tasks that make games look awesome and break them down into smaller parts, distributing them among many small processors. This freed up the CPU to focus on other important stuff, like making sure the physics in your game remains stable when you blow up that alien spaceship. The result? Games that looked better, ran smoother, and blew players' minds. This concept didn't just revolutionize PC gaming, it changed the console world too. Suddenly, NVIDIA wasn't just a name computer geeks knew, it was becoming a household name among gamers of all strife. And they didn't rest on their achievements. Year after year, they kept pushing the envelope, releasing new generations of graphics cards that left the competition in the dust. Speaking of competition, want to know how NVIDIA stacks up against its old rival, AMD? In the first quarter of 2024, NVIDIA's revenue hit a whopping $26 billion. AMD's revenue for the same period, a comparatively modest $5.5 billion. That's right, NVIDIA's pulling in nearly five times more cash than its traditional competitor. Talk about leaving them in the rearview mirror. NVIDIA didn't become a trillion dollar company just by selling souped up graphics cards to gamers. Sure, that was a big part of their success, but the real rocket fuel for their growth came from an unexpected source, artificial intelligence. And this is where NVIDIA's story gets really interesting. Back in 2006, while most of us were still getting used to the idea of smartphones, NVIDIA made a huge bet on the future of computing. They released something called CUDA Compute Unified Device Architecture. Now, I know that sounds like a mouthful of technical terms, but stick with me because this is where things get cool. CUDA was a software platform that allowed developers to use NVIDIA GPUs for all sorts of tasks beyond just making games look pretty. Why was this such a big deal? Well, remember how GPUs are great at handling lots of small tasks at once? Turns out that's perfect for all kinds of complex computing jobs, not just graphics. Suddenly, NVIDIA GPUs weren't just for gamers anymore. Video editors could render their projects faster. Financial modelers could crunch numbers at lightning speed. And when cryptocurrency mining became a thing, guess whose hardware was perfect for the job? Yup, NVIDIA's. But the real jackpot came with the rise of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Training AI models requires an enormous amount of computational power, and NVIDIA's GPUs were perfectly suited for the task. Whether it was researchers running complex simulations to find cures for diseases, or companies like Tesla training algorithms for self-driving cars, NVIDIA's GPUs became the go-to choice. 
Speaking of Tesla, want to know what kind of hardware they're using in their supercomputer cluster for improving full self-driving? They're using $50,000 NVIDIA GPUs. That's right, some of the most advanced AI development in the world is powered by NVIDIA tech. It's like NVIDIA became the pickaxe seller in the AI gold rush. But NVIDIA's influence extends far beyond specialized AI applications. In fact, there's a good chance you're using NVIDIA technology right now, even if you don't own one of their graphics cards. How? Well, NVIDIA's tech powers Amazon Web Services, which provides the infrastructure for about 30% of the cloud-based internet. So, chances are, anytime you're browsing the web, streaming a video, or using a cloud-based app, NVIDIA's technology is involved somewhere in bringing that content to you. This widespread adoption of NVIDIA's technology, from hardware AI research to the everyday internet infrastructure we all rely on, has been key to their incredible growth. But there was one more factor that pushed them over the edge to become the world's most valuable company in June 2024. NVIDIA made a clever financial move. They did a 10 to 1 stock split. Now, if you're not a Wall Street whiz, don't worry. Here's what that means in simple terms. They took each existing share of NVIDIA stock and split it into 10 new shares. So if you owned 100 shares before the split, you'd suddenly have 1,000 shares. The total value of your investment stays the same, but each individual share is now worth a tenth of what it used to be. Why do this? Well, it made NVIDIA shares much more affordable for new investors. And remember, this was happening at a time when the whole world was going gaga over AI and looking for ways to invest in it. Suddenly, NVIDIA, a company at the heart of the AI revolution, had stock prices that were much more accessible to average investors. The result? Their stock price exploded like a rocket taking off. Now, it's worth noting that NVIDIA has since experienced a bit of a reality check. They dropped back to being the third most valuable company as of the last update. And there's some big questions floating around the sustainability of the AI boom. Our world is becoming more digital by the day. Movies are being made using game engine graphics. Surgeons are practicing on digital twins of patients before operating on real people. And let's not forget about the metaverse. If that ever takes off, guess whose tech will likely be powering a lot of it? That's right, NVIDIA's. What do you think? Is NVIDIA's meteoric rise justified, or is it just another tech bubble waiting to burst? It's a tricky question, and honestly, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, NVIDIA's journey is a testament to the power of innovation and forward thinking in the tech industry. From revolutionizing gaming graphics to powering the AI revolution, NVIDIA has transformed itself into a cornerstone of our digital future. And who knows what they'll revolutionize next? Maybe someday we'll all be walking around with NVIDIA-powered AI assistants in our pockets, or living in fully immersive virtual worlds rendered by NVIDIA GPUs. Whatever the future holds, one thing's certain, NVIDIA's story is far from over. So keep your eyes peeled, the next chapter of this Silicon Valley success story is sure to be just as exciting as the last.